Welcome to Superstitions, Traditions, and Definitions. I'm Kristen. And I'm Carol. Still, still. Still, still. You took my suggestion, you were saying? I took your suggestion. Holy shit. Somebody... We're going to talk about the Flying Dutchman legend. <gasps> Score. I know. Sweet. He, he's been around for a minute. Uh-huh. He's caused quite the ruckus. Quite the ruckus. Lots of trouble. Lots of, Lots trouble. of trouble. Awesome. Let's hear it. All right. So. Yes. The, fly, the legend is mm -hmm. he was doomed to sail forever. And ever? And ever. Oh, my goodness. Does he get seasick? Because that would be some hardship right there. I mean, if he liked to be on the open sea. and I mean, he was spirit, a sailor, right? so he did enjoy it, I guess. But Are you sure? Maybe I'm it was sure just a job. At some point, he would like to go home. Probably. But he can't. Mm. He is doomed. Was he bad? Well. How did he become doomed? Are we going to get into We're that? We're going to get into that. <gasps> Good. Why don't I let you talk? Okay. Okay. So... Yes, he was doomed. So this originated during the Golden Age, okay. from, which was from 1588 to 1678. So Why'd he they call it the Golden Age? It's been around for a minute. The Golden Age was when the Dutch Republic um, was more prominent. Okay. They had more trade, art, scientific developments, um, colonization. Okay. So it was their golden it age. It was their golden age. Technology. Yeah, and they were such. kind of leading the world for a bit. And it ended gotcha. with the Franco-Dutch War. Because, oh. you know, the I mean, French why not? were like, listen, no, you've got to share. Yes. And we like things. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and we want to play too. And you're just leading everybody and everything. And we're not okay with it. We're so not okay with it. They, they put a stop Who to Who the that. hell do you think you are? Exactly. Dutch people. Exactly. So okay. then the Dutch people were like, well, okay, fine. But your colonization, you're going to run into our ghost ship. Oh. Hmm. So yeah. awesome. So the ship is assumed to be a 17th century cargo vessel called a flute. It does not play pretty music. Damn. That was my next question. I know. That was mine too. It doesn't play pretty music. Do you drink champagne out of it? That's a flute as well. I bet you could drink champagne on it. I don't know. If it's a ghost ship, then you're probably just going to fall right through. That's true. Ghosts aren't fancy like that. Yeah, they aren't. Okay. So the flutes were developed by the Dutch. Okay. It was specifically built for cargo. Okay. Um, not a leisure craft. Not a leisure, not a warship. It was built it holds to, crap. Yeah, to hold the most amount gotcha. of stuff. Of stuff. Okay. Um, it, it couldn't be converted into a warship just because of the way it was made. Right. Wouldn't hold cannons and such. Right. Okay. It was lighter. It was simpler. It was easier to manufacture. Okay. And it gave them the ability to carry twice as much cargo as the cargo ships that could be fitted for war. Which was important in a golden age, I it, would assume. It was important, yes. Very nice. They were designed with two or three masts that were much taller than the masts of the temporary ships, or the temporary, the contemporary ships of the time. Okay. So that it caught the wind. Oh, better yeah. and could sail faster. Well, it has more area. Yes. It would catch more wind. Yeah, so okay. it could go at greater speed. Gotcha. To get the stuff there. And it absolutely positively has to yes. be there overnight. Right. FedEx beginnings. Even though nothing happened overnight. Ever. Why? They don't sail at night? They sail at night, but you don't sail and get where you're going overnight. I mean, unless you're crossing a lake. But they have more, more area. They have bigger masts mm -hmm. and bigger sails. So. Okay, we're moving on. Because of this. Okay. It, it leads right into the Flying Dutchman. 
So because of these flutes that can sail a lot faster, mm -hmm. there was a sailor at this time whose name was Bernard Folk. He was a captain for the Dutch East India Company. Oh. And he and his flute cut the travel time in half. Well, that's a big deal. What typically took sailors a year would take him six months. And it was a big deal. And people were suspicious. How there, does he go faster than us? Exactly. There were oh. rumors that he had made a deal with, with the, the devil. devil. It's always got to come back to a deal with the devil. Yes. My goodness. So he had made a pact with the devil so he could fly, sail, so he could sail. Move. Move. Haul buns. Haul buns a whole faster. lot faster. To get it there quicker. To get it there quicker. People need their tea he, and silks and whatever else they, mm -hmm. they hauled. Kind of so thing. they left from Scandinavia, went to Indonesia. That was the main okay. route. So they went all the way down south Africa around that Cape. Yep. It to come took, back up uh -huh. and to come back. Yeah. And it took a long time. It took I a year so. to make that journey. But he could do it in six months. What's the canal they dug over there? It's not the Suez Canal. Is it the Your guess is as good as mine. It is believed that the Flying Dutchman mm -hmm. was based on this dude. Was he a Dutchman? Yes. And he flew quickly. Basically. Fastily. He flew across that water. In half the time. In half the time. So he's twice the Dutchman that the other folks were. Yeah. Oh, interesting. His speed was known all over the European world, which was, you know, the world to them at this time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Back at this Europe time, was yeah. the world, except for, you know, that inconvenient continent they had mm -hmm. to sail around. It was probably Europe, too, though. It was in the way. The... Flying Dutchman was later named in stories, but it was well after the legend had existed. Gotcha. The first written known record of the Flying Dutchman was in a book with a really long title that he wrote in 1790. Okay. In it, he claims to have seen the Flying Dutchman on mm. a stormy night oh. and recounts the legend. Okay. The legend he reported was, there is a ghost ship trying, and I paraphrased, so this isn't his exact words. Right. Um, the ghost ship was trying to find port in distress of the weather, but could not get a pilot to conduct her to harbor okay. and was lost at sea. The ghost ship was lost at sea? Does the ghost ship need a harbor? That is how it, it ended up being the ghost oh, ship. The actual it, ship. It, it, the, the, the sea battered it. And yes. And then it the became sea, a ghost ship. And then it became a ghost ship. And it is doomed to try to get into harbor. But can't. For eternity, but cannot. Why can't it? If it's a ghost ship, you would think it would. You would think it would be able to just. Be able but to apparently, do it, it, it can't. There's nobody on there that can pilot the ship to conduct her to harbor. Mercy. All of those ghosts on that ship, and not a single one of them can steer it. I guess not. I mean, we'll I guess they can steer it out on the big open waters. Could they put all their, their heads together and just think of a way? Nope. Okay. It is really hard to put heads together when they don't exist. Okay. I'll give you that. Yeah. Okay. I got <laughs> so no nope. comeback. I got nope, no comeback. They can't. And then around this time, this yes. was the first written account, 1790. Okay. By the 1800s, there were dozens. Of Flying Dutchmen? Of accounts of running into mm. the Flying Dutchmen. Did anybody ever timeline that? You saw them here. How did he see them here? Oh, that would be a good, maybe there's right? several. There might be. So around this time when he publishes his book, then everybody, all of the everywhere is just seeing their ghost ship. Their ghost ship. He started a fad. Without even realizing without it. Without even realizing it. Cool. Which I guess is how most fads start. Everybody's mm -hmm. like, hey, that's cool. Yeah. I'm somebody says too. something and everybody else just follows suit. Right. Way to go, John McDonald. Now you got everybody scared out on the ocean. But think it just took, there's a whole movie industry. Right. Look, Thank you for you the money. You get nothing. You get nothing from it. Well, he's dead. Right. Yeah. I mean, are they supposed to go dig him up? Be like, here's your royalty? Exactly. I would say no. 1821. So 30 years later. 30 years later. 30 like 100 years, later, years back then. Yeah. 30 years later, 
Blackwood's Edinburgh Magazine okay. decided to span the picture of the Flying Dutchman and just made up a story. Okay. So according to this article that was written and published in 1821, okay. the Flying Dutchman's name is Hendrik van der Decken. Van der Decken. Yes. Is that like my hoot? It has the Ryakin. I, I just, you don't know the song? <laughs> my hat, it has three sides. Oh, okay. Okay, right, we'll look it up. Maybe. maybe. You don't care, but I'm going to inform you later. Okay. Anyway, right, go we'll ahead. look it up. Go ahead. I mean, the, I bet these hats had three sides. They, they, they might have had three sides. They were, they it, were was, pirate, it was of ships. the time. Yeah. Pirate hats kind of have two sides, though, don't oh. they? I don't know. I am not well versed on my pirate caps. We're gonna have to check it out. Well, I got one at Long John Silver's one time. I don't think that counts. They were paper. Was it haunted? No. Okay, I don't want to hear about it then. Okay. <laughs> so, according to this story, yes, the ship was captained by the fictional Van der Decken, and he would appear to other cargo ships. Because why? Because just to cargo ships. Yes. You trying to scare the cargo out of them? Well, he is trying to get help. Oh, okay. He is carrying I letters. Thought it, I thought it was like a Scooby-Doo thing where he's trying to sink them. No. Okay. He is carrying letters that need to be delivered. So he stops that other... like the Pony Express? I guess. <laughs> um, he stops other ships and asks them... Please deliver my mail. If they will help carry the letters. And they say... If they say yes and accept the letters, they uh, realize the letters are to people long dead, and now they are doomed. Because they accepted it. Because they accepted it, they will never reach their destination. They will never see dry land again. Now, mm. how we know this mm -hmm. doesn't make sense to me, because if they are doomed out there... How did they... Because they accepted the letter. How do we know, one, that the letters are too long dead people? How did they know those people are dead? Would you see a name and be like, oh, I know that guy's dead? Maybe. I read. Okay. Maybe it's in the paper. Oh, hey, this guy died 300 years ago. Ooh, I, I mean... I'm not going to know that. If they're recent, my mom might. She likes to read the obituaries daily. <laughs> so make sure if, she's not there. Make sure she's not there. Yeah, make sure she's not there. If they are local... And recent, she would be able to look at that letter and be like, oh, no, that, that guy's dead. No, but but, how? but, but none how of that was recent. Know? Right. It wasn't. They maybe were maybe dead. that just, maybe they maybe they became imparted with knowledge when they said yes. When they touched the letter. The, maybe they had a vision of the guy's death. Of the ghost letter that's not really there. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Okay, <laughs> so they accepted these letters. Right. Once those letters are in their possession, then they are doomed to sail the seas for eternity. With, with these letters. With these letters. You know what? Probably it doesn't have proper postage. I bet that's it. And they, they can't return them. Right. Because they've been from ship to ship to ship to ship. And they don't even know. There's probably no return address on there. I mean, I'm sure there. there were no zip codes on it. Mm hmm They were then doomed to sail around the Cape of Good Hope until with, the day... With no hope. With no hope. Until Mercy. the day of judgment. I would just throw that over the side and, and go on about my business. And right. that's as though I did not know that this was cursed mail that I have. And now I'm stuck forever. But if it's cursed and ghost mail... Maybe if you don't you... acknowledge it. That's the key. If you throw the person who accepted it over with the oh, it, oh, like Jonah, the rest of the crew might be okay. <gasps> yes. So the sightings have been reported for centuries. They are still sightings of the Flying Dutchman. King George V mm. even reported seeing the Flying Dutchman. Was he the one that was a drunk? Probably. Died of syphilis. Something went crazy. He was maybe the, he did see the Flying Dutchman in his dreams. He was the grandson. Maybe of it was Queen his Victoria. Okay, wasn't a hallucination. I um, mean, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe, a, I, I, no. possibly. Why would you think people would be hallucinating out on the wide blue oceans? Because they do. So, speaking of, okay. It is believed, yes, ma'am, that the Flying Dutchman is actually a super mirage called a Fata Morgana, which is atmospheric conditions that stretch in invert. Uh-huh. 
distant objects. I see. So I guess they're looking at themselves in the it's mirror. It's a reflection the, in the fog of the atmosphere on the water uh, yeah. with the ghosts that aren't there. Mm -hmm. All of that. I think that's some hokey bullshit. Come on. So do you. It is visible right in that narrow band mm. above the horizon. So if this is what it is, open your finger. how are they getting close enough to it? They're not. To get the ghost mail. If it is a mirage. I think they must have flung that ghost mail. Maybe they did. It. Maybe they put it in its own little boat and sailed it to It them. could be in its own little dinghy boat. Mm -hmm. That would be cute. And they just Take set it mail. sail. Take our mail. That's what that, they're doing. That doesn't make sense. If it is on the horizon. No. no, none of it makes any sense. So, yeah, no, that's not it. They are wrong. Mm -hmm. They are wrong about that. I agree. It's just spooky haunted mail. Whoever touches the spooky haunted mail, kiss it goodbye. Exactly. It's over. Exactly. Over. The other theory is that it's looming. Ooh, which, looming. Yeah. That's a great word. Another ship that you see in the distance. Mm -hmm. Not the ghost ship. Not the it's ghost just ship. It is a real ship. Else passing by. Yes. Out there in the distance that appears to be larger and hazy due to the atmospheric conditions. So it looks like what it's about the mail? Up above the water. Oh, it looks like it's not even. It's floating above the yes. water. Yes. Okay. And it looks ghostly because of, you know, the fog. The fog. <laughs> okay. I usually look ghostly and because again, of the fog, too. If that is the case, once you get to that other ship that is out there and very real and not a ghost ship. Don't take the mail. Don't do it. You would know then mm -hmm. that you Unless you're just not smart and you're like, hey, listen, right before you got here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Right yeah. before you magically appeared before me, there was this ghost ship out yep. there. It was coming from the same direction you were. It wanted me to take the mail. <laughs> and I said no. And you said no. No. And then the ghost ship catches up with you and murders you. And then you're your own ghost ship. Yep. And that's how <laughs> it happens. <laughs> got you. Interesting. So anyway, here, this is the story of the Flying Dutchman. I love it. They believe it's based it. on a true person and who made a deal with the devil because they designed this amazing and ship. And making a deal with the devil made him the devil's postman. And then he became the devil's postman. That's what it is. Interesting. I don't want to be the postman for the devil. No, I don't want to be the postman anyway. I don't want to be the postman you for anybody. You could travel that around true. and like read stuff. I know. And then I, somebody, people don't send letters anymore. And so when I saw one, I would probably keep it just to see <laughs> what was so important. You had to write it down. You couldn't send it electronically like a normal person. <sighs> Why don't they text? All right. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I would have to read it. There would be secret something. In there. You go to jail for that. Oh, it's a federal offense. It, that is unless why. It's ghost mail. Yeah. Unless it's ghost mail. Unless it's ghost mail. You yeah. can read the ghost mail. That's you probably, why I'm not you a probably can't open it because it's haunted mail. Yeah. I'm telling you. That's why I don't work for the post office. Because of the I haunted would go to mail. Jail. Because of the haunted mail. No, I'm fine with the haunted mail. Oh, it's the, you'd get your night in county. I'd get my night in county. Dork. Hmm. No, haunted mail. I love it. I, I love all of that. That's I know. fun. It, I know. That's a fun that little legend. A, it was a fun little legend. All because... He went fast. I know. All, all because, because they did good designing a ship. Because they went fast. And God forbid those Dutch design a better ship than the rest of the world. Right. We're going to gonna send you to the devil. They built a better mousetrap. Mm -hmm. And then they get to pay for it with haunted <laughs> mail. Yep. Suck it. So there. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. Yes. All right. So let us know what you think. Yes. How have about you the haunted mail? Read let a ghost letter. Do you have haunted mail? Do you need to exercise your mail? Kristen is all about that. I got you. She will exercise that. Send you the call spooky me. spirits away, and then you okay. can then you can read your phone bill. I will bring my smudge stick. She will get rid she of all that. Sage stuff for the you. shit out of your stuff. Yep. 
I'm trying to drum up business for you. <laughs> Kristen smudge stick. <laughs> but I, I don't do it as business. I mean, but you could. If there's a lot of haunted wanna, mail out there. I don't want to do it. You want haunted mail. You just I said do. you would steal somebody's not, ha not haunted mail. For the secrets. I, but haunted mail would be full of secrets, you would think. Ah. Or it would evaporate before I could read the secrets. Well, you better read fast. Yeah, that's true. I can okay. do that. Awesome. All right. Come back on Tuesdays for Do. more superstitions. See us. Yes. Yes. And come back on Saturdays for had to Am think I? Of, had to I think did. about it there, didn't you? I did. I wasn't sure. <laughs> Saturdays. It is. That is the day. Saturdays. Am I the asshole? Come and historical edition. Let us know. Historical edition. Yeah. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. All that We love jazz. it when you do all those things. We do. It makes us happy. It does. Right? It, yeah. 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 All right. We'll see you all later. She yep. loves you. I do. I have a fondness. She does. <laughs>